Hey everyone, just uh, testing out a new little thing here. I've got some oculus -y hands that I can use. And I can spin around full 360 and they work. And this is using a basic setup. Um, I'm, I don't have any fancy extension cords. Uh, I don't have anything crazy going on. Um, I basically have the Oculus cameras. Here, let me uh, increase this for you. Boop, 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 boop. And here we go. All right, so you can see me a little bit more clearly now. Uh, so the typical setup with an Oculus is going to be with your camera, like right here and right here on your desk, right? Like you want to have the two cameras in easy desk range. But what I've done is I have one camera, as far as I can reach it down there on the floor, and I have the other camera 180 degrees across from it, here in the room, which is just out of frame of the camera, but it's right here. So one's up high, one's down low. Um, this is just uh, as best as I could set it up. And now I have almost no occlusion. I can get some occlusion in if I let, maybe if I go here. Nope, not even. This is the most occlusion I can kind of try to make for myself, but it seems to be working okay. Right now, yeah, there, if I go to the far corner of the room, I temporarily lose one hand. But same could be said for Vive as well. Um, I'm able to walk around this whole space. So this is a three meter by three meter space, a room I can walk around in. Um, I mean, obviously there's no chaperone and there's a bit of lag on the camera right now. So this isn't really representative of uh, lag or anything like that. This is just the camera lag, but yeah, so this is effectively a Vive setup, right? I have a three by three meter room, 180 degree cameras, and ah, oh heck, maybe I can just show you manually what the room setup looks like. So let's just turn off the filter. And I'll disconnect the camera. I'll just aim it a little bit. Whoop. So there you have it. <clears throat> I've got, you can see the USB cable is stretched uh, pretty much to its extent, leading down to the computer. Um, uh, just on a bookshelf equivalent, I've got a, uh, a pole in the corner that I've mounted it to. And then on the front side, down here, you can see that I have on the, well, maybe you can't see. It's too dark in here. I'll get some light, not a lot, not a lot of light. But this is the other one, which I've just set on a chair in this corner. So the total, the total distance here is from there up across the room to the other side for a total 180 degree coverage experience. So again, this is just with the USB cords for the tracking cameras pretty much stretched as far as they will go at their default lengths out of the box. Um, it does look kind of ridiculous with that cable there, right? Like. Nobody's actually going to have this strung across their living room. I mean, it is pretty much up against the wall and it doesn't get into my space, so it's fine. But um, this is showing the extreme case that yes, it's possible in the extreme. We don't expect any customers to actually set this up, but it is possible. It is technically, physically possible. 
I have plugged this cable in to a USB 3 certified extension cord of about 8 feet, which removes this um, slope from the equation, which makes things a whole lot better and way less haphazard and way less silly <laughs> for your setup, but it is definitely possible. Now this said, because almost no consumers are going to have this kind of setup in their actual um, because no one's going to have this set up in their actual living rooms. Uh, we are not developing with this in mind. I'm actually going to grab all of my cameras and place them where they belong, right here on the edge of my desk. And that is how I will work. Um, and how we will make Fantastic Contraption work on the Oculus system. But if a user But if someone wants to take the effort, and if someone really badly wants to get the full room scale experience with the Oculus hardware, it is possible. I will say that Oculus is better at desk scale and standing scale than it is at room scale, but room scale, totally doable, without loss of tracking, as I've just demonstrated. So maybe we can stop arguing about technical limitations and start ta talking about the more interesting problems which are all software related. So for Fantastic Contraption, we don't care where you set up your cameras, really. They kind of work magically for us. They just report back some coordinates. If you set them up in your corners, Fantastic Contraption will automatically set you up for standing scale environment or room scale environment. If you have them on your desk, you'll find that if you face backwards, so both the cameras are behind you and your hands go in front of your chest, that will occlude the cameras, obviously. Like that is a problem with the system, but it's not really a problem with the hardware. It's a problem with how the consumer sets up the hardware in their individual environment. We don't care as developers, the game will just work whichever way you want it to go. No problem. Anyway, I just set this up 